Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoodesia Zoo, where I am quite happy to have all of you here ready to hit the ground running, and oh my gosh, look at all of those people wearing the most adorable little family of ice cream hats, and of course you've got the one kid who wanted to be the spider instead, and dad wanted to be a painted wolf. That is amazing, it absolutely makes me want to put an ice cream shop, but ahem. <clears throat> Anyway, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zudesia Zoo, where we have kept this zoo up and going almost every day since the very founding of Planet Zoo. And I'm quite happy to have you all here with your zookeeper boots on, ready to help me out with the Red Ruffed Lemur exhibit, which I totally want to work on today. I've actually been feeling pretty sick again, so I have been rusting quite a bit. Oh, look at everybody point at our cute little Red Ruffed Lemurs! I know, right? They're so cute! Continue to point. Please feel free. Oh, and which keeper is this? Uh, oh, we haven't named this keeper yet. <gasps> Fantastic. We have a chance to name one of the keepers after you guys. So we're actually going to name this keeper Sakura because that was the next name I had on the list from Wolfie Paws. So thank you, Wolfie Paws. You wanted to have somebody named Sakura uh, in the zoo, and now you get to be the lemur keeper. The Red Ruff Lemur Keeper. Uh, let's actually name her Lemur Keeper Sakura. Do we have her? Yeah, she's she's assigned to the tortoise research area, but we'll say that you're totally supposed to be mostly focusing on these adorable little Red Ruff Lemurs, which I think is so cute. I also need to name the lemurs. I actually was going to have to chase them around the exhibit first thing this morning in order to start naming all of them, but since they're already here... We're gonna have a female right here named Zyma after one of y'all from our last adventures. Then we're also going to come over and we're gonna have another one. The male we will name Storm after Storm Guardians. Gosh, it's so exciting. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh, they're grooming each other. Oh, we're gonna name this one Hollywood. After Hollywood Vega, which I love the idea of having a lemur named Hollywood. That just sounds so precious. And then finally, we have oh suggestions for fire theme names from Cami. So let's actually go with Flicker for the last unnamed female out of our little trio of females here, because that sounds like such a lovely name. But I am so happy to be able to work on the zoo with you guys. I wasn't feeling my best today, and I was worried that we would break our daily streak of daily adventures in a planet zoo. But no, no, I found it in me to put on the good khaki and to show up once more in our adventures here in Planet Zoo, where everyone is now wearing the cutest, absolutely most adorable, even though they're spiders, a lot of spiders, little hats. I really hope we end up getting more hats that people can wear as time go on, like as time goes on. Oh, what are these people gonna choose? It's another spider ice cream cone combo! That's not ever a combo I thought I would ever say, and definitely not a combo I actually want, but I'm really happy to hear about it. Oh, I wonder what these people want. They're getting some rust, and they're a little thirsty, and they really like the baby giant tortoises. And they're gonna need some refreshment because it's so hot, so we might want to get them something to drink pretty soon. <sighs> but alright! By now, you guys have probably heard, by the way, in here, we're going to plant a few tree ferns into the ground right over here while we talk about this. But by now, you guys have probably heard the news about the brand new update that is coming to Planet Zoo very soon. I'm super excited because that huge, it's going to be a huge, huge update that's going to add in uh, new moss rocks. It's going to add in genealogy. It's going to be adding in, we'll fill in some Monstera back here, because why not? I think that'd be fun. It's going to add in a whole bunch of fantastic quality of life updates, like being able to understand the minds of our guests better, which I'm really looking forward to. Soon we're going to be able to really get into the heads of the people who come to experience the glory of what we have here in Zudasia Zoo. And we're actually going to have, in this upcoming free update on the 7th, the ability to really break down what guests' favorite animals are, how long they've spent in different sections of the zoo. We're going to be able to see what they really actually want, what they want to spend their money on, uh, what really makes them tick. And I'm super excited about that. I hope they're going to let us rename guests in the future. 
it's a small thing, but I would love to rename a guest after one of you guys and just follow that guest around like all day. Be able to like give them a little star that floats above their head or something. And then we could just try to improve the life of that guest all day long. I think that would be really fun. That's not going to be part of the update though. But what is going to be part of the update is really useful genealogy that's actually going to let us look into all of the relationships that the animals have. Right now, we just can kind of tell like who their parents, siblings, and children are, but we'll be able to tell like who they've ever mated with, uh, what kind of structure they have inside of their family groups. And I just think that's gonna help us so much with being able to figure out how the animal dynamics really work, especially in animal groups. Dun, 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 dun. Like our red rough lemurs, which do have more complex social groups and who should, hey, don't you guys think about climbing out over here? And who should actually be interacting socially a lot more, where they're going to groom each other a lot. All of the animals who have social displays with one another are actually going to have big improvements into how often they show those displays. So I'm super excited for all of those things. And I'm super excited absolutely thrilled for the South American pack, which is going to be a huge deal. We're going to have so many new plants to put everywhere. Also, Alclemi is having a baby. Yes, that's so cool. I think we have a lot of pygmy hippos now because I got more than a little obsessed about them for a while. <gasps> Look at the little baby. Oh, Hercules the second, you are so precious. Uh oh, animal is severely dehydrated. <gasps> I forgot to give them any water because this is kind of like a fake pool right here. Oh no. The waterfall is just an illusion. So I completely forgot that we actually needed to give these guys some proper water. Can I push any of this down? Did that make any? Oh, there we go. Okay. So we actually did make them a little, a little pool. Sorry about that storm. Come on over guys. Did that actually make it? Okay, and now we need to put in a water filtration system. Apparently one of ours is not working. Let's call a mechanic over and make sure that both of these are fully functional. No, not the fountain bamboo. All right, low welfare from not having any water. You guys should have some water now. And we'll need to make sure that their water is getting cleaned. We'll put something in to clean their water in just a second. <gasps> at, at the second's about to die of old age. Oh my gosh, Storm just died. Are you kidding me? Storm, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. They just needed a little bit of water from this waterfall and I completely forgot the waterfall was an illusion. And now at, at has died? At, at no! Oh, this is, this is, this is, oh, this is really sad. Oh my gosh, at, at the third, how are you? At, at the third, you are getting along in years. We need to get you, we need to get you a, a mate, a female mate who you're not related to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And we also have this little girl who doesn't have a proper name yet, even though she is at At's sister. Um, we're going to name her On On. Oh, On On. We'll name her On On the second, because I don't think we ever had an On On the second. So I definitely, we might, we might keep her, we might move her. Um, let's go ahead and put Chi Chi at At's mom, right? Yeah, we're going to put her on contraceptives. Though she would probably do good moved into another exhibit. Anyway, panda genealogy and breeding aside. Oh, wow. We made this side of the zoo really cool with this huge area. I'm so proud of it. I feel really terrible right now about what just happened to Storm. Storm just dehydrated to death. I did not expect that. I did not, did not, did not expect that. Because um, I forgot the waterfall was fake. Oh, I feel really bad. Let's find Storm the second. That's going to be a life lesson. Storm, your your time with us was far too short. I am so sorry. 
about that. I truly deeply am. But I promise that we will learn our lesson and storm the second. We'll go ahead and adopt this guy. Oh, we don't have enough storage space again. Curses! And Resistance is about to have offspring. Why do I have so many? Why do I have a baby Okafi in here? Oh my gosh. Um, oh geez. All right. Bashful the Okafi. We'll go ahead. We're going to go ahead and we are going to release to the wild. No, I don't want to release. Nervous to the wild. He He's really good Okafi genes. All right. Deep breaths, guys. A little bit, a little bit of a freak out with how everything kind of went cattywampus. Let's go ahead and find somebody like Nelly the second to, oh, here we go. Algia, we're going to go ahead and release some of these pygmy hippos to the wild. Because they are not gold quality pygmy hippos and we have started to work our way up to gold quality pygmy hippos. Uh, why do I still not have enough storage space? All right, we're on this guys. Sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll adopt out Release to the Wild Doris. There we go. Wow, I'm really... Oh, man. All right, come on, Storm the Second. All right, we're going to learn from this. We're going to deeply, like, tragically learn from this. And in honor of the poor little Red Ruff Lemur who didn't make it, we're going to actually make a special little water fountain spot right down here, right at the front. And then we're going to make sure that they won't get sick from this. There we go. Put a little spot right there. Can I put in the water at all? No? Okay. Back it up. Um, oh, I know! We'll put down a special... Instead of doing, like, water like that, let's actually come in. And we're going to put down a drinking location for the Red Ruff Lemurs. A little water pipe. But then we're going to cover it up with some rocks and things so that you don't see it from the other side. Oh, I can't believe we lost our first lemur. And now the vets are here at least to be able to like look at the lemurs. Curses! It's a deep burden, but we will remember. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some of these temperate rocks maybe. There we go. And we'll work with these. But we'll make this into a cute little leaping fountain. So it looks like a little spring that the lemurs can enjoy. There we go. They still have a spot where they can come and drink from. I think Storm the Second just arrived. There's his little tail! Storm the Second, welcome to the family, little friend. Really, really, really sorry, Storm the First. Your life with us was so, was painfully, painfully brief. However, you, Storm the Second is going to be very healthy and we're going to actually put in a drinking area in dedication, like a nice little place for people to grab a refreshing drink in dedication of your life. We'll make sure it was not spent in vain. Let's grab some of these tree ferns. There we go. And we'll kind of decorate a little bit with the tree ferns. Ooh, okay, tree ferns are kind of a big decoration, actually. But we'll just have to take what we've got. Alright, where are some of the bird nest? Grab a couple of those. Oof. Okay, let's see. That's the other side that we'll, we'll mess with later. Let's come down over here. There we go. Just kind of like hiding away where that part of the water is. But then let's move this rock back like so and we'll grab a little oops okay that's too far back and we're gonna make this into a little fountain and in fact oh there's a diseased animal oh no oh no this is so bad why am i okay call that let's go ahead and for now like remove this pool i would like all of this water removed please why? Okay, is it empty now? I think this is now empty. So we shouldn't have any more water there. They should only drink from the little fountains. We'll make two little fountains that they can drink from. That should that should hopefully solve this. Hang in there, little ones. 
I'm trying to fix this so that it's not quite so chaotic. And I'm trying to find fun ways that we can fix it. Um, and then maybe we can make like some bubbling streams and fountains in other areas to represent this for in memory of our lemurs. Like a little jet splash, that's too big. Rapids, no. Waterfall, little jet. See, that's kind of cute. Oh my. Yeah, something like this. Just really a nice tiny little stream thing like so. I like that. Because it's just a small little pool that hopefully they'll be able to drink from. Get plenty of water. Alright. You get out, you get out. We'll add that in. And we'll put down another spot for them to get drinks over here. All right, let's see if we can not manage to <laughs> completely dehydrate our lemurs this time. All right, hopefully that'll be good for the back. How are they doing now? Are you guys doing okay? They really haven't climbed on anything, so I'm a little worried about that. Zyma, are you doing all right? Let's see if we can give them some better things to climb on because the terrain is now inappropriate for them. So terrain needs a little bit less long grass Less short grass, too. More soil, actually. Let's shrink this down. Oh, I just heard the wolves! It has been too long since we have spent time with the wolves, too. Oh my gosh, we really need to just, like, get in here into the zoo and, like, pick an animal and just spend the day sprucing them up. If you could be a zookeeper for a day, which I totally want to have some of you guys do. I mentioned that a while ago. And it would be a great idea to start working on again. But if you guys could be a zookeeper for a day, which habitat or project would you take on? Because I tell you what, it's really hard to pick every day when there are so many things to do in our zoo and just find the just right thing. All right, is our lemur better, doctor? Is everything okay? Oh, it's Miss Rose. If Miss Rose was taking care of things, then we're totally going to be fine. Also, at -At's garden is at risk for being dirty. Is that... <gasps> Why is there dead panda bones in here? This is... This is terrible! Oh my gosh! We don't just leave at ats bones there! That was at, at the second of all... Of all of the... At the very least, we should have another shrine down here for at, at I can't believe that happened. Okay, th this is the at, at shrine. Right down here, we're just going to make a whole nother shrine. I'm going to go ahead and just straight up move it over here to kind of hide. I wonder if I can... Ooh, I think I can actually put it in a way where it can hide. Nice! There. That it becomes a shell for the water piece. <laughs> And we'll just go ahead and remove some of these pieces. I could not believe they just left Aat's uh, bones there. People, I am so disappointed in all of you. All right, let's go ahead and move this little lantern. And then we'll duplicate it right over here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need to work on this somewhat, but... All right, we'll figure this out. This will be this will be in memory of at, at the second. So shrine of at at. Uh, in fact, let's make it the shrine of the at ats. So we have like at, at the first, who I don't know if I ever made a proper little piece for. And now we're gonna go ahead and right next to him, it's going to be his son at, at the second. There we go. What a sad day! This is what happens when you just have your attention removed for like two seconds, you guys. You have to be able to pay attention. You have to set up backup plans. So even when you have an odd day where you're distracted by your pygmy hippos mating and hopefully having many more adorable babies. I am so proud of the work we've done around here. Oh, look at that amazing Galapagos tortoise little area we made. Very nice. Even when you're a little distracted like that, you need to be able to stay on top of things so that your lemurs don't suddenly pass away and you don't just have 
like your panda is turning into bones at the back of the panda area. That is unacceptable. What's also unacceptable is how thirsty some of our guests are getting. So let's actually transform this path right over here into a nice modern shell facility like this. I actually love this look for the New World shop for such a modern area that we're trying to make over here. And let's actually put it right over here so people can come right up to the edge. Just a little bit more. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. And actually, I think I'm gonna have to move this anyway. So let's put down the shop first. Sorry if I'm a little bit silly today. I've been feeling under the weather quite a bit. Thankfully, we think it's not, it's probably just seasonal allergies and like something else that's going on, not related to everything that's happening. Just to reassure you guys. Um, oh, I don't think I can put anything over here. Really? But I really, really, really want to. Oh wait, oh, oh, oh. Interesting. What about right, oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll try kind of like in here. And that would be a nice little water shop. That man was like immediately just fired into oblivion. That's fine. Uh, there's a cute little up. Somebody has vandalized one of our info boards. I swear. This is why we, we need to get some security over here too. There's always so much to do every day to try to make this zoo an even better place. All right, we'll put that down. What's here on the front? What is that? Was oh, that the Pip Shop Water Shop? Okay, so that means I need to scoot this forward a little bit. There we go. All right, and let's hire a new employee. One of you guys. Oh, and Penda's having a baby. Oh, I'm so excited. I love the little pygmy hippo babies. I haven't even had a good chance to like work on any of them. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to name our new staff after some of you guys. And this time it is going to be uh, Fleef after Hay Bear Gaming. So you are going to be... Ta-da! This vendor! Get back over here! Fleef! Oh geez, and we have protesters? I don't even know where! We're gonna have you work at the Tortoise Research Center. And we'll go ahead and start training you in just a second. I think somebody must be on their way then to come and work over here. But this is going to be, to my sadness, the uh, lemur, leaping, lemur, leaping lemur lounge. Um, and it's going to be all about like making sure you stay properly hydrated. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and rename this to like, uh, lemur, hmm, lemur water, uh, pollution education center where you can come and get free bottles of water or almost free bottles of water in return for what you can learn about lemurs. Let's replace that broken education center and we should have somebody coming over to work here any minute unless dun 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 dun. That's what happened! Oh! Well, we can fix that really easily if we get a little bit sassy with putting down this piece right here and then putting in... Man, if you feel a little bit like loopy, trying to manage your zoo can be quite tricky. I, I hope I have excellent health insurance for all of my employees <laughs> so that they don't ever have to come in and feel like this. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out where to put this down. All right, can't figure out where to put it down there. So we'll remove these two things. And let's see, can I get the solar panel in over here anywhere? Oh, right back here. Okay, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. I don't care how it works. We're just gonna get you right in there. There we go. Now people can come and get some drinks. People also do not mind having, and we'll move these over a little, having the solar panel displayed, which is very nice. In fact, we'll go ahead and grab some of the tree ferns I used <laughs> over there. And this will be our lot. Like, yay, the solar panel sure is working on a rainy day like this, right guys? But we'll go ahead and fill in 
some of these spots really quickly. Uh, even if it pokes through the glass place we made, I think that'll be okay. There's just so many people wearing spiders on their heads, and I kind of love it. All right, we'll we'll tidy this up and make it nicer later. However, for now, I'm quite content with this, and people can come and sit and get out of the rain for a second, which I think is very nice. Excellent. All right, hopefully that will help. I hope our lemurs are going to be okay. Our flamingos are just being a little bit fussy. They will be all right. We have a lot to take care of in the zoo, so if you guys would like to, do please leave a comment letting me know if you were a zookeeper for a day, how would you help me to take care of the zoo? Because Siri has been feeling a little under the weather, like literally, it's raining. Maybe I need to set up a place to sell umbrellas. I wish we could sell really cute umbrellas, like with designs on them. I would pay for like extra mechanical research to unlock more displayable on guest items that we could like put out because that would be so cute to just theme the zoo even more but anyway yes if you could help me to run our sprawling growing mammoth of a zoo here in the pouring rain that we have been working on for oh so long it would mean quite a bit to me and hopefully these people are you guys being quiet are you not respecting the quiet rules all right, the sign says do not disturb, so y'all stop waving your... Do not disturb. Stop waving your umbrellas at everybody. <laughs> so if you guys can help me run our sprawling mammoth of a zoo with all of its glorious greenery by leaving comments letting me know what you would do if you were zookeeper for a day here, it would definitely help me. But most of all, my friends, I hope you all stay curious, and I will see you guys next time when we will start babbling quite a bit more, hopefully when my fever is a little bit less, about how amazing the South American pack is and how excited I am to have even more animals to add into all of our beautiful zoos. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!